Hello people, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In today's tutorial, I will show you how I made this bubble stitch cardigan. If you follow me, then you know I already did a top with this stitch and it turned out really pretty well. And I decided, you know, why not make it a cardigan too. So I made this cardigan using this fox brown color yarn. And I think I love the color. It is an extra small, but it can also fit a small size. For this size, I use uh, 500 grams. That's, uh, I use 10 skeins of yarn. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. You can style it any way you want. You can make it bigger. You can make it a long cardigan if you wish. I just wanted it a little bit short. So let's dive into the tutorial. So you will need a tape measure to take your measurements which is very important for the yarn i used acrylic yarn 50 grams each 133 meters and i used 10 of these about nine nine and a half skeins but yeah 10 skeins it recommends a 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter hook but i will use a 4.0 millimeter hook and you can use what is recommended for your yarn size and of course you'll need scissors so for this cardigan, this is how we are going to work it. It is worked like the back panel together with the front panels. And we will start from one side. We'll make a, like a very long chain that goes the front and the back all the way back to this side. And we'll work from, from this side this side one one of the front panels that is the left one together with the back panel work all the way to our neckline from here to the neckline leave out this front part that is the neckline so we only work at the back when we get here and then once we are this side then we chain back these chains and make both the front panel and the back panel at the same time and then yeah once we are done we'll do the sleeves once we're done with the sleeves, then we do this calf and this front ribbing. That's it. It's not hard. All right. So like I said, we will chain both the front panel and the back panel. So we're going to make our foundation chain. So take your measurements from the shoulder to where you want your cardigan to reach and then multiply by, by two. Okay. So foundation chain and I'm going to chain enough chains to those measurements that I want so we are making both the front panel and the back panel together so if you want your cardigan to be let's say 17 inches so now you'll make 34 inches of chain so mine I want it to be uh, 17 inches so if the front panel is 17 inches the back panel is 17 inches it will be 34 inches so i will chain 34 inches of chain okay so decide what how long you want it to be you could want yours to be i don't know 50 inches or something so this is up to you okay so i made my 34 inches and this is 127 chains that i chained for myself so 17 twice is 34 so 17 will be the front part and 17 inches will be the back side so that makes it 34 inches in total okay so my cardigan is as long as 17 inches okay so for the first row we are going to skip the first chain and go into the second chain and make a single crochet Go into the next chain, make a single crochet. Go into the third chain, make a single crochet. And this is the ribbing that you see at the bottom of the cardigan. So mine is made of 14 single crochets, but this is up to you. If you want it longer, you can make 16, 17 single crochets. Or if you want your ribbing to be smaller, then you can shorter. You can do 10, you know, 12, 8 depending on what you want but I did a total number of 14 single crochets for my ribbing look at my pictures and then you you see how it looks okay so this is how it looks and this is my last one okay I have my 14 
single crochets that will be my ribbing and let's see this is about four inches so my ribbing is four inches you can you know want to make three inches or you want to make more five inches depends on you so now for the next part we are going so the ribbing is both at the ending and at the beginning right because we are working both the front panel and the back panel okay so for this side next next part we are going to use half double crochets okay so yarn over and then go into the next stitch and make a half double crochet so we have three loops and pull through all so yarn over go into the next stitch pull through you have three loops pull through all the three that's a half double crochet then make your third half double crochet and for this part it's going to be half double crochets so the ribbing we had single crochets and now we have half double crochets and i'm going to do this until i get all the way to this side i put stitch markers just so that i know so the first 14 stitches single crochets and the last stitches should be also 14 so i went all the way to where i have my stitch marker after doing the single crochets now i'm going to go and do 14 single crochets sorry after doing the half double crochets now my last part should be 14 single crochets so your first part should match your last part okay so i'll go ahead and make my 14 single crochets all the way to the last chain So we're working both the front panel and the back panel at the same time. That is why we have the ribbing at both ends. Because one will be in the front, one will be in the back. So these are my 14 single crochets. I'll put a stitch marker just so that I don't forget where, you know, the single crochets start and where they end. So chain one, turn your work. And we are now going to work row two. And for row two, we are working only in the back loop. So these are two loops, but we'll work only in the back one. Instead of working in these two, this one that is at the back, that's where we'll work our single crochet. So I'll go in with my hook only in the back loop and make a single crochet. Go into the next one, make my second single crochet. Go into the next back loop and make my third crochet. And I'm going to do this until I have a total number of 14 single crochets only in the back. All right, so I have my 14 single crochets only in the back, and now it's my part for the half double crochet. So I yarn over, insert my hook, pull through, pull through all three loops. Okay, so make a double a half double crochet only in the back loops. We are still working only in the back loops, and we are making one half double crochet in the back loop. So going to every stitch previous stitch that was a half double crochet make half double crochets in the back loop until the end so i'm done with my half double crochets so now it's time for single crochets so i go only in the back loop and make a single crochet only in the back loop make a single crochet and i'm going to do that until the end i should have 14 single crochets to the end so you can keep moving your stitch marker to the next row so that you know. All right, so I'm coming to the end and this is going to be my last one and I'm going to work it in two loops. So my last stitch should be in two loops just to make it so secure. So, but my first stitch now chain one, turn your work and I'm going to work back loop only for the next 14 stitches this is single crochets okay and work single crochets only in the back loop until you get to where you have your stitch marker 14 single crochets is my ribbing and then the body is made out of half double crochets only in the back loop okay so i do until i have 14 single crochets All right, so now 
half double crochet so I yarn over make a half double crochet yarn over make my second half double crochet and I'm going to make half double crochets only in the back loop until I'm done with the half double crochets and then it will be time for the single crochets we are only working in the back loop okay so you're going to keep repeating this until you have five rows please remember also on the other side single crochets five rows so I have my five rows all right now we need to start on the bubble stitch so i worked single crochets until the ribbing leave it alone so i worked all the way up here with my 14 single crochets right and now i start on the bubble stitch so the bubble stitch is on the sixth row okay so now let's start on the bubble stitch so what i will do is this first stitch i'll make a half double crochet okay and now for the second stitch i'll yarn over instead of working only in the back loop i'll work in the two loops this is where i want to put my bubble okay so i'll go in first i have three loops yarn over pull through two then i have two remaining yarn over go in again like this i have four loops yarn over pull through two then i have three remaining okay yarn over go th in the same stitch i have this many yarn over pull through two then i have four remaining okay yarn over go into the same stitch pull through two i have five remaining yarn over for the fifth time go through two i have six remaining so i put five stitches in one stitch then i'm going to yarn over and pull through all the six loops on my hook like this then i'm going to tighten it push it outwards a little bit like this okay and then yarn over and i'm going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch this is in the back loop make another half double crochet in the back loop that is in the next stitch go into the next stitch and make my third my third half double crochet in the back loop so i have three double crochets and now i do the bubble stitch again so we have three double crochets then a bubble stitch if you want you can space them out and make maybe four or five stitches in between but i'm only making three so the next one i'll work in two loops and make my next bubble stitch so i have two loops in there go in pull through two and then i have three loops remaining go in make my third stitch pull through two i have four loops remaining go in pull through two i have five loops go in my last stitch pull through two and i have six loops so pull through all the six loops make it tight and give it a push right this is how it looks at the back and then yarn over make a half double crochet in the back stitch in the back loop only that's one Go to the next one make your second one go into your next and make your third one and then we repeat bubble stitch again so going to loops that's one that's two that's three that's four and five in one stitch then pull through all the six loops on your hook Give it a push tight and repeat three half double crochets in the back loop only only in the back loop so this is how the bubble stitch is going to look like uh, but you can you know personalize it the way you want you can leave more stitches in between so that it is more spaced out or even the five rows you could decide oh i want to make after every seven rows or after every three rows if you want more bubble stitches or after every i don't know nine rows so this is up to you so i'll meet you at the end of the row so that we start on the next row okay single crochets at the end so 
this is how my barber roll looks like so if we have our cardigan folded into front and back panel this is how it will look like okay so i went all the way did the single crochets downwards and then also did the single crochets all the way up and now i show you how we work on top of those bubbles so this is came all the way back here so half double crochet in us crochets now i already did my 14 single crochets so now i do the half double crochet so we are just going to go into every stitch with half double crochet some stitches may be tighter than the others at this stage okay but it is the same pattern we are going to make half double crochets in every stitch that you see half double crochets in every stitch that you see and this is going to be our pattern all through so it will be five rows of half double crochets and then a bubble stitch row five rows of half double crochets then a bubble stitch row unless you change it to what you prefer then you follow that pattern okay so keep repeating this pattern keep repeating this pattern until you are done with your first part of the cardigan before the neck part and don't forget these are on the same number of single crochet stitches should be the same same rows before the bubble and yeah so I'm going to be working until I have my measurements for the first, that's the left part. And this is how my cardigan is looking. My husband was like, why don't you do this on a computer? I was like, this is the easiest part for me. Anyway, we have the left panel, we have the neck panel, and then we have the right front panel. And of course, the back panel at the back. Okay, so this is how you're going to take your measurements. You are going to take your shoulder to shoulder measurements plus six inches okay mine i took 16 inches plus six which makes it 22 so my back panel is 22 inches all right 22 inches for my whole back panel but we would need to do the front panel so how do we determine so it's 22 minus the five inches which are our neck part our neck part will be five inches so 22 minus five for me of course that will give it 17 inches so 17 inches divided by 2, I'll get 8.5 inches for one panel and 8.5 inches for the left panel, okay? So do your shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder measurements plus 6. What you get minus 5 divided by 2. And then you will know what you'll have for your left front panel and for your right front panel okay shoulder to shoulder measurements plus six okay minus five then divide by two all right so for my right front panel i continued doing the same pattern until i had my eight and a half inches so if you did the calculation according to the diagram you should know what you need for your left front panel so i have my eight and a half inches and i'm taking the measurements in the middle because you know it kind of changes at the top and the bottom so i have my eight and a half inches okay and now i'm going to do the neckline which is five inches so for the neckline we are going to count all the stitches and divide by two so that we know where the middle stitch is so Count all the stitches, divide by two, know where the middle stitch is and put a stitch marker there. So because we are not, we're only going to work on the back and not the front. Okay. We'll work five inches like this, only on the back. All right. So count the stitches and then divide them by two and put a stitch marker in that middle stitch. Okay. So I did that. And this is how it looks. I have my stitch marker here and I will only be working from where my I'm working right now only until where my stitch marker is. So I come all the way here and meet you here. Okay, so I came all the way. It was time for my bubble stitch row and I came all the way like this until where I have my stitch marker.
and I will just put my last stitch there in two loops okay so the last stitch should be in two loops and not one all right so now I'm going to chain two since we are not working the single crochets at this point so I'm going to chain two turn my work and go straight into half double crochets because this is around the neck okay so I'm going to go into the back loop with a half double crochet we are working half double crochets sorry so I'm going to go into every stitch with a half double crochet so at the end I changed two turn my work before we were chaining one because we we're working single crochets but now that we are going straight to do the half double crochets I chain two okay and then work half double crochets in every stitch all the way down of course down i still have my ribbing and once i get to where i need i have the single crochets i'll work single crochets okay once i get here it's single crochets all right so i went up down and then came back all the way up because i want to show you how i end it here this is the neckline so i'll work this stitch here and on top of the chain two that i made make sure you work your last stitch there and i'm working in both loops not only in the back loop but in both loops because we need to keep it straight then chain two turn your work and in this very first stitch i'll work a half double crochet go into the next work a half double crochet and i'll work double crochets half double crochets sorry i keep confusing that it's half double crochets all the way to where i have my single crochets and then i'll work my single crochets up and repeat and repeat until i have my five inches of the neck so keep going up and down up and down of course where you have the bubble stitch don't forget that after five rows i do the bubble stitch until i have five inches okay so i did that and i have my five inches of the back panel only and now we need to work to add the front panel again so we will chain all the chains that we had taken away of course plus one chain since we need to turn our work at the end so whatever chains you had taken away you are going to put them back so chain all the chains okay so i'm going to chain all my 63 chains back plus one so i'll chain 64 chains all the way here okay so i have my 64 chains okay and this is the part we are putting back okay so what do we do we need our 14 single crochets back so that's what we are going to do so i will skip this chain and go into the next chain and make my first single crochet go into the next si second single crochet third single crochet and i'm going to make 14 single crochets like we had before so make your 14 single crochets or whatever single crochets you had before okay and then now it's half double crochets so i'm going to make half double crochets same number as i had before we put the neckline all the way up here all right i'll see you there so i came all the way to the top this is how it looks and now i'm working on the on the on the back panel so i'll just go in with half double crochets on top of the previous half, half double crochets but only in the back loop okay we are still working only in the back loop yeah so basically we are back to how we did our very left front panel and now we are working on our 
uh, right front panel together with the back panel of course and you're going to continue doing that until you have the same number of rows like you have on the other left front panel so once you're done it should look something like this okay so we have the front panels here looking like this and then we have the back panels and we'll do a sleeve on these sides okay we'll put a sleeve here so our sleeves are next so i went ahead and already did my sleeve and attached one already sewed together this other side but don't worry because i'm going to show you how i did that on this other side so this is how it looks once you're done with one of the sleeves so let me show you how i did that sleeve the sleeve will look like this just a rectangle then we'll attach it to the other part um yeah so we are going to make this rectangle of a sleeve just know how you want how long you want your sleeve to be because that will be our foundation chain so i'm going to make a foundation chain of 14 and a half inches long and that will be how long my sleeve will be from about about my biceps all the way to my calf okay so make a chain i'll make mine 14 and a half chains and how i measure it is just like i just try it on like this put my arm a bit straight like this see how you see where my cardigan is reaching and then that's where i will take my measurements from like from my biceps that's where it is and then measure from there to the cuff so i have my 14 inches 14 and a half inches Measuring from my biceps to my calf, it's about 14 and a half inches. Please keep in mind that we have the, the calf ribbing, which is about two inches long. Okay, so I'll make 14 and a half. That's how long my, my sleeve will be. Okay, so we are going to start on row one. And it's basically like before, but now we are not working the single crochet. So what we'll do instead of skipping one, we'll skip two chains. And into the third chain from the hook, we'll make a half double crochet. Going to the next one, make a half double crochet. Going to the next, make a half double crochet. So for this sleeve, we are only working with half double crochets. So I'm going to make half double crochets in every chain until I get to the end. And I'll meet you there. So I'm at the end and this is how our row one looks like. So... Yeah, so for row two, we are going to chain two, turn our work, and in this very first stitch, we are going to make a half double crochet, but we'll make it only in the back loop. So go into the back loop and make a half double crochet. Then go into your next back loop, make your second half double crochet, and it's going to be a row of half double crochets. I'll meet you at the end just to show you how we finish that row off all right so i'm coming to the end and this is my second last stitch and my last stitch will be in the two loops that is on top of the chain two that we made so on top of this chain two i'll go in both loops and make my half double crochet this is just to keep the, the, the it straight okay so you're going to keep repeating this so chain two turn your work and i'll go right in the back loop of this first stitch and make a half double crochet make my second half double crochet in the next stitch and i will repeat this until i have my five rows and then i come to the sixth row for the bubble stitch okay five rows and i'll meet you so that we can do the bubble stitch okay so i'm done with my five rows and yeah this is it one two three four five and my sixth one is going to be a bubble stitch so what do we do we are going to chain two chains turn our work 
and I will just make one half double crochet in the first stitch in the back loop and next I'm going to make a bubble stitch so for the bubble stitch we are working in two loops so I'll go into these two loops here and make my bubble stitch so that's one that's two that's three four and five then I'll pull through all the six loops on the hook tight pull push and work three half double crochets in the next three stitches in the back loop and then work my bubble stitch and you already did this so you know the pattern so I'm going to do this until I want how wide I want my sleeve to be so for how I measured that is I just put a tape measure on my biceps I measured it was 10 inches so 10 inches I added 5 to that and that made it 15 inches so measure around your arm plus 5 inches it should be what you will make so I'm going to Continued repeating, repeating, repeating this until I have 15 inches. Okay. Don't forget how we start the row and finish the row. And I'll repeat the same pattern all the way until I have 15 inches. Okay. So I have my 15 inches and this is how they look like. Okay. From here to there is 15 inches. You can make it wider. It will be different for different sizes. Like I said, measure around your arm plus five inches. So when I fold it like this, then I have, this is how my sleeve will be. So, okay. So we are going to join this to the other side, but we need to first work a row of single crochets all across this side. So we need to work single crochets and I will be working it on the right side, okay? So for the single crochets, we are going to chain one and I'll go into this stitch and make a single crochet then go at the top of the ridge here and make my second single crochet just see where I'm placing them okay so in the middle of this stitch and at the top of the stitch which is in this ridge here in the middle of the stitch and that to add the top of the ridge i just call them ridges i don't know how to call them so i'm placing in the middle of the stitch and then at the top of the stitch in the middle of the stitch at the top of the stitch or it for you could you could say bottom of the stitch just look at it because i have no explaining it so in the middle of the stitch and in the ridge in the middle of the stitch and in the ridge so we are going to make single crochets all the way across to this side okay so i made all my single crochets across and this is how it looks like i counted the stitches that that's the number of single crochets across and then divided them by two count from here to here all the single crochets divide by two so that you find your middle stitch and put a stitch marker on it okay then next part is you're going to lay your sweater like this straight like this and then count all the stitches you already know them you already counted counted them divide by two put a stitch marker right there okay so i have my two stitch markers in the middle here i have my pink one here and then because i counted all the stitches divided by two i'm for the middle stitch that's where that is and then i did the same for the sleeve counted all the stitches divided by two and put a stitch marker so these stitch markers should be facing each other right here okay so i'm going to count all the stitches here and then count them all the way on that side and put a stitch marker there so if i have 25 the other side should be 25 too okay and then we are going to join these two parts together right from where my white stitch marker is 
then working all the way to the middle and then to the other side of the front panel. So we are starting from the back panel to the middle and the front side. So I'll take my stitch marker off. And I know from this side to the middle, I have the same number of stitches because I counted them. So I'm going to join two panel, the, the sleeve and the other side just using slip stitches. So I'm working only in the back loops, like the outer loops, actually, the outer loops, the loops that are facing the outside. Okay. So I will slip stitch those together, this side on the outside, the other side on the outside, and slip stitch in here, in there, and slip stitch in here, in there, and slip stitch. And we are going to slip stitch in the outer loops all the way to the middle. And once we get to the middle, we'll slip stitch all the way down to where the end of our single crochets for the sleeve, that is. Okay. This is how it looks on the right side. So we are doing this on the wrong side, people, on the wrong side. So, so I went all the way. This is where my sleeve ends and I will just finish this off. Yarn pull through and then cut off my yarn. And then pull through this. So that's secure and we have attached our sleeve. So now we need to sew everything together. Okay, so this is how it looks. And on the right side, this is how it looks. So we fold this. And you can see we are coming through with almost a finished sleeve. So we just need to sew this like all the way down to the other side so you see so if we sew this together like this all the way down here then we have our sleeve and our cardigan part of it done but we need to do this on the wrong side so we are going to turn this inside out again on the wrong side so i did that i already turned this inside out and i want to sew this from the bottom of the cardigan all the way to the armpit and to the sleeve because we need to work the cuff on the other side of the sleeve, okay? So, going to reattach your yarn here at the bottom. And we are going to be working only in the outer loops. So, but at first I'm going to the first both loops just to secure it. And then I'll work only in the outer loops. So. In here. In there. Only in the outer loops. And then slip stitch. In here. Insert there. Slip stitch. Insert here. Insert there and slip stitch so you are going to join using a slip stitch all the way through i will go up this is how it looks okay so i'll go up under the armpit here and all the way to the sleeve side and be done at the end here so i went all the way and this is how it looks in the end all the way from the bottom here and to the side of the sleeve so we need to do the cuff okay so for the cuff i will do this on the right side so turn your sleeve to the right side okay and depending on how many you chains you want to make i want mine to be 12 chains I mean 12 stitches, so I'll make 13 chains. 
if you want it longer you can make more chains or if you want it shorter make fewer chains but i will make 13 chains because i want it to be 12 stitches then i'll skip this first chain here and go into the next chain and make a single crochet so the, for the calf we are working with single crochets go into the next one make a single crochet go into the next make a single crochet and i'm going to work until i have my 12 single crochets And this is going to be my 12th single crochet. Twelve single crochets. So what we are going to do is I'm going, this is where we work. So I'm going to go into this next ridge and slip stitch. Okay. This is our first row. I slip stitched in the ridge. Okay. So now I'm going to go into the next ridge and slip stitch. That's the bottom ridge. And then go into the top ridge and make my third slip stitch so i made a slip stitch three times so i'm going to turn my work skip all the slip stitches and on top of the previous single crochet i'll work on in the back loop make one single crochet in the back loop go into the next one make a single crochet single crochet and by the time i'm at the bottom i will have the total number of 12 single crochets only in the back loop okay so i work 12 single crochets in the back loop so the number of stitches should be always the same on every row and in the last one i'll make in the two loops so this is my last my 12th so i chain one turn my work and i'm going to work 12 single crochets in the back loop all the way to the top okay so that's one two three four five six seven eight somewhere there 12 and then i would slip stitch in the next ridge leave around the one where this is where i worked my last one now in the next one which is the bottom ridge this is where i worked in the next which is the bottom ridge i'll make a slip stitch okay and now i'm make a slip stitch in the next one which is the top one and then the bottom ridge i'll make my last slip stitch and then turn my work and repeat So on top of the previous single crochet, I'll make a single crochet in the back loop and I'll go all the way down until I have 12 single crochets. And my last one i'll work it in both loops then chain one turn my work and repeat work 12 single crochets all the way to the top okay keep repeating until you get to where you started and i'll meet you there so I kept repeating until I got to where we started. As you can see, the cuff is smaller and I need to join this, but on the wrong side. We are joining from the wrong side. So touch, turn your sleeve inside out, okay? And I am going to 
make slip stitches so it could be you're joining from top to bottom or from bottom to or from bottom to top so it depends on where you finish your row okay so i'm just going to join using slip stitches we are working in the outer loops So slip stitch all the way up and once you're done cut your yarn and then do this same exact sleeve for the other sleeve and I'll meet you once you have all your two sleeves attached to your cardigan so that we then we can do the front ribbing okay. All right, so I have my two sleeves all attached and this is how it looks so far. If you like, you can just leave it at this, like it still looks good without the front ribbing, but I will do the front ribbing for myself. And if you like, so for the front ribbing, we are going to reattach our yarn at the bottom and this is on the right side. That's where I'm starting. Reattach my yarn tighten that and i'm going to chain six stitches because i want my ribbing to be five six chains because i want my my ribbing to be five stitches so i see six chains skip the first one and into the second one make a single crochet go into the next one make a single crochet and i will make five single crochets This also depends on you. You can make more chains or less depending on what you want. So for this, we it's going to be a bit different. I'm going to skip this. This is where we attached, right? Skip this next stitch and into the third stitch, make a slip stitch. Then go into the fourth stitch, make a slip stitch and then turn. So make five single crochets in the back loop. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm just walking in the back. Then chain one and make five single crochets all the way to the top. Two, three, four and five and then we will skip one stitch so make sure you know where you worked your last one which for me is this stitch so now i'm going to skip the next one and into the third one i will make a slip stitch then right into the next one make my second slip stitch okay and then turn my work again skip the two slip stitches and then work single crochets five single crochets in the back loop so one two three four and five chain one turn my work and repeat one two three four and five then skip one stitch this is where i worked so i skip this and go into the next one make a slip stitch and the next one make my second slip stitch then turn my work and work five single crochets so you get the point right and work five single crochets get to the end chain one and repeat all the way across to the top around along the neckline and down and once you are done it should look something like this so i went all the way back down here okay so we have our front ribbing ready cut your yarn and basically this is our cardigan you know we are done like so in your ends 
and yeah we have our bubble cardigan i love this cardigan so much i love this stitch and i hope you do i styled it with my knee-high boots uh, with this tennis skirt and a white t-shirt and i loved the look so i hope you like it i can't i can't wait to see what you make please share with me on my social media pages it's ac crochets and tiktok instagram facebook and please don't forget to subscribe leave a like and share this video with your friends so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next tutorial bye guys